I'm Dr. Joe Esposito, and welcome to our podcast, For the Health of It, Episode 8. Be sure to subscribe to this podcast, and you'll never miss an episode on how to naturally get well and stay well. The information presented on this program is not intended to take the place of your personal physician's advice, and it is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Discuss this information with your own physician or healthcare provider to determine what is right for you. Are you suffering needlessly? Dr. Joe can give you advice on how to naturally get well and stay well. Dr. Joe Esposito. Hey folks, Dr. Joe here. I am very happy that you're with me today. We're talking about headaches uh, and it's kind of branching off in other directions as we always do on the show, but pain management, headaches specifically, and what could be causing them. And there's a lot of things that we see happening. And many times the, the mitochondria, this is part of the cell that generates energy. The mitochondria isn't producing the right amount of energy. And they need certain supplements because some people have weak mitochondria. And you'll need things like vitamin K, uh, pyruvate, vitamin B1, uh, niacinamide, methylcobalamin, B, that's B12, folic acid. So B vitamins are going to be very, very important if you have an issue uh, with mitochondria. And again, a lot of people don't know they have the issue. So I have something called Dr. Joe's B-Complex. It's on my website, drjoesposito.com. And I take it every single day. And in fact, I ran out of it the other day and I missed a day or two. And I did notice I didn't have quite the energy that I used to have. So B vitamins are vital for energy, but they're also vital for nerve function. And as a chiropractor, our team of doctors, our concern is making sure your nervous system is working. That's why I created Dr. Joe's B-Complex. And a lot of people say, I'm tired all the time. I'm just exhausted. And they start taking the B vitamins. Say, oh, I'm getting a little energy now. I'm starting to feel good. Then they take Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. And they go, oh my gosh, doc, I'm feeling human again. The minimum amount of nutrients you should be taking is Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. That's, that's the minimum. Because it's, it's fruits and vegetables in a powder form, prebiotics, probiotics, digestive enzymes, a complete multivitamin, uh, loaded with minerals to alkalize the system, iodine. So you need these things. And most people aren't getting nearly enough. So if you're going to do anything, if you're, not going to will, if you're not willing to change anything else, go with Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source. If you're willing to change everything, go with the Super Greens and the Essential Source. I, I believe everyone under certain circumstances, should be taking super greens and essential source. Those are on my website, drjoesposito.com, along with the B vitamins. Adrenal supplements are huge. Most of us have burned out our adrenal glands. We're, they're tired. They just don't produce enough adrenaline. They fight inflammation. So if the adrenal glands aren't working properly, you can have an inflammatory reaction, which can increase your pain, including, including things like headaches. So I've put it all together for you. You don't have to know what to take. I have it on my website. And you can take them. And so, again, minimum super greens and essential source. But the B vitamins are great. The uh, the adrenals are, I think, vital for anyone, I say, over 30 who has any stress in their lives or drinks coffee or tea. Uh, those are great. And we have a bunch of other supplements there. Probiotics, uh, digestive enzymes, vitamin K. Very few people get enough vitamin K too. I put it in a supplement with vitamin D because most people don't get enough vitamin D either. Hey, let's make save people money and make it easy. I've done this before, folks. So the website's there all day, every day, drjoesposito.com. Omega-3 fatty acids are very important. They contain, uh, good ones contain DHA and EPA. And those are important for brain function and inflammation. Now, there's three types. If you've listened to the show before, fish oil, which I'm not a big fan of, many times contaminated with mercury. Uh, Some aren't, but you run that risk. Uh, Krill oil, which is a better choice. It's in a phospholipid form, easier to absorb. And then algae oil. I personally take algae oil. It's more expensive, but I'm a vegan. So I don't do krill, which is like a little shrimp type thing, or I don't do fish. So the algae oil is where I get my omega-3 fatty acids from. I take about a gram a day. uh, And that's kind of important that uh, you got to get the, 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 we don't produce omega-3 fatty acids enough to keep us healthy. So that's why you got to take it from other, other sources. So what else can cause headaches? Poor posture. A lot of patients come to us and say, Dr. Joe, I got bad posture. And I tell them, you have bones out of place in your spine. That's what's probably causing the bad posture. In most cases, that's it. So when they start getting chiropractic care, they say, you know, doc, I'm standing up straighter. I'm sitting up straighter. We're fixing the cause of the problem. The poor posture isn't the problem. It's the symptom, which can then put stress on the neck, which can cause the headaches and other pain. Stress, of course, is huge. Chemical, emotional, and physical stress. So chemical is what you eat. 
Physical is pinched nerves, muscle spasms, poor posture. And then uh, emotional, well, I might not be able to handle that one for you. You may go through a bad breakup. You may have been, uh, you know, uh, past, done, done poorly. I'm trying to use the right word here without cursing on the air. Um, uh, not treated properly in a business deal or, or in a, a friendship. So that can cause emotional stress. Financial stress can cause emotional stress. But if we can fix the physical, which is what my team of doctors do, and you work on the chemical, we teach you how to do that and get you on some good supplements. The emotional stress is a lot easier to deal with. Once again, every day I hear it, why didn't I do this sooner? Why didn't I get under care and get my body healthy sooner? And again, my answer is, I don't know that. Sleep is important. If you're not sleeping properly, that can be a problem. And what happens is your stomach's job is to take proteins and break them into amino acids. It kind of dissolves proteins. The amino acid tryptophan becomes serotonin in your brain. Serotonin helps keep you calm down and focused. Serotonin becomes melatonin, which helps you sleep. So almost all my patients that I have that have insomnia or sleep apnea, their stomach is pushing up against their diaphragm and they're not digesting food properly. So they're not getting the amino acids into the body at the levels that they need. So they're not producing the neurotransmitters. So they're not producing enough serotonin. So they can't sleep. So if you have acid reflux, heartburn, burping, gas, bloating, many times we need to go in there and massage or pull the stomach down away from the diaphragm. It's, it's not, it doesn't hurt. And I had lunch with a medical doctor friend of mine and we were talking about, you know, the insurance companies and how it's just not fun, as much fun to be a doctor anymore. And everybody's trying to, you know, the insurance companies are trying to keep the money and not paying the bills, which hey, it's their business. But I said, if I could never adjust another patient as a chiropractor, I could make a very successful practice on dealing with nothing but digestive issues. And he's one of the doctors that sends me his digestive patients. Um, and he says, yeah, you're right, because I see so many people with digestive problems. I said, yeah, and it's fun to have some tools to hopefully fix it. So digestion can be a big issue. Uh, of course, chiropractic, pinched nerves is great for that. Sometimes if the muscles are really spasm, we may have to dig in there a little deeper, do a little trigger point work to get those trigger, trigger points are just spasm there in the muscles. Uh, make sure you eat the right food. Being hungry can cause headaches. Stay away from the glutamic acid and stay away from the aspartic acid. Those are the things, aspartame and, and glutamic acid are the things that can trigger those headaches. You got to drink plenty of water. Water can cool the body down, can help reduce headaches as well. If you're doing magnesium, that can be helpful too to relax the muscles, but be careful because they make milk of magnesia out of magnesium. And so if you're, you're saying, I got muscle cramps and I'm tight, and I, I've warned my athletes with this. In fact, my new book, Prescription for Extreme Health, we have a chapter specifically just for athletes. You say, I'm going to take some magnesium to help reduce my muscle spasms. Well, that's probably not a bad idea, but if you take too much of it and you're going to do an athletic event, eh, you might have a little difficulty uh, maintaining your bodily functions because magnesium relaxes all your muscles, including the bowels. So be careful with that. You could always take an Epsom salt bath. Epsom salt is magnesium. It can be absorbed through the skin. So that might be something you might want to consider as well. That could help too. Now, if you have a headache, another trick you can do is put your feet in a bucket of hot water with some Epsom salts in. It's a good idea too, because the blood will be drawn away from your head and down into your feet. Pretty cool, right? Just a little trick. Just trying to teach you fun things. Again, you want to get to the cause of the problems, but these are just some things that might treat the symptoms. And so that's why it's important that you get the nutrients in your body so the brain can function. Super greens, essential source, maybe B vitamins, maybe adrenal supplements. Um, and again, the basic starting point is super greens and essential source. And then we add on to that for other patients when we do a nutritional evaluation. So you can get those on my website, drjoesposito.com. You can also get them on Amazon. If you have an Amazon account, go to my Amazon page and you can buy them there too. Uh, some people just prefer to do that. And uh, if you have, by the way, if you have questions too, you can always send them to me through my website, drjoesposito.com. I'm more than happy to answer your questions for you. Um, so you can do that because, uh, you know, with this show, we don't take callers. So you could always just send me your questions. And this besides, and you know, I, my, my podcasts are there too. And I, I got to put a plug in for the podcast because we have people from all over the world downloading a podcast at like crazy rates and they love it. I met a, a nurse the other day. She works for one of the doctors I work with. And she said, you know, I, I, I was driving in Florida, whatever, to see her parents. And she goes, I didn't know what to do. I, and I said, oh, Dr. Joe's podcast. She goes, I couldn't stop listening. 
She goes, no, I'm, she's well-versed, brilliant woman. And she said, I, every minute, she goes, I want to take notes. It was so amazing. How do you put that much information in one show? And I said, well, I don't know. I just like giving information. She said, I turned my parents onto it. I turned my husband onto it. I turned all my colleagues onto it, the doctors I work with. So the podcasts are there. So you might want to consider listening to some of the podcasts. There are uh, shows that I did in the past. And then you can choose your topic, of course. And we also videotape my live lectures. So if you haven't been to one of the live lectures, they just rock. And they're a lot of fun because I can show you things I can't show you on the radio. So go to my website, drjoesposito.com. And you can sign up for the podcast or just, you know, uh, follow my, my Facebook page where we put the podcast. You can follow the podcast links. Uh, we want to make it easy for you to get the, the information. And they're fun. If nothing else, listening to the shows are fun. You're going to get a kick out of my bad jokes. And I promise, I got a lot of them. All right, some other top causes of headaches as we continue on here. And the website, by the way, drjoesposito.com. If you want to make appointments, if you want to send questions, you want to listen to radio shows, read articles I've written, they're all there. Uh, alcohol. Can alcohol give you a headache? Yes. Say yes with me. Um, the head, the hangover is pretty bad. Dehydration could be one of the problems because you ever notice how you drink one beer, you pee out three? Where those other two beers come from? There's a bad joke, folks. You drink one beer, you pee out three because your body is getting the alcohol out of the system because if alcohol gets into the brain, it can damage the brain cells and your brain controls everything. So that's why it's really important that you, if you do drink, which you shouldn't, but if you do, for every one drink you have, you have three glasses of water. Now, I did a show several weeks ago on alcohol. It's on the website, drjoesposito.com. So if you want to learn about alcohol and little tricks you can do, because I'm a realist, I know you're not all you aren't going to quit drinking. I wish you would, but I know you're not. So I gave you a lot of tips in that show, and that's on the website too. You can listen to it there. Uh, you got to get your B vitamins in the body. The alcohol will flush out B vitamins. That's why Dr. Joe's B complex is probably something you want to take for multiple reasons. So it's you got to avoid things that can can trigger the headaches. Things that co- can tr- contain a tyramine. They're found in aged cheeses like blue cheese, cheddar, Parmesan, Swiss. That can cause problems. I got some uh, vegan cheese the other day and it was really tasty. And I had about four slices of it. Next day, I had a headache. So I look back, like I would tell you, what did I eat? What did I eat? I didn't eat it. So I grabbed the vegan cheese and I read the ingredients. And one of the ingredients was fermented soybeans. Well, you would ferment things that can trigger the headaches. The tyramine is released. So I can't even eat the ve- this vegan cheese because it gives me a headache because of the fermentation process. So dehydration. And skipping meals, these are biggies. You got to drink enough water. Here's the rule on water. People say to me all the time, but Dr. Joe, how much water should I drink? And I say, your pee should be clear. So if you really want to test it, pee in a clear glass of water, you know, clear glass, look at it and it should be clear. It shouldn't have a bunch of stuff floating around in it. It shouldn't smell. It could be a slight amber color, slightly yellow is fine, Um, but it shouldn't be dark yellow. It shouldn't stink. And if you hold it up to the light, you shouldn't see a bunch of junk floating around in it. Uh, you got to drink a lot of water. And here's the cool thing about drinking water is you got to get up and pee. So then you start moving and that helps your body. You got to stay in motion. 10,000 steps a day is ideal. So if you can do 10,000 steps a day, you help yourself by drinking a lot of water and getting up and moving it. And that can help fight off the headaches. Sinuses. Sinuses can be a big issue, right? You got that frontal, that frontal bone area, that sinus headache. Well, the number one food that produces mucus and sinus problems is dairy. The number two food allergen is wheat. So here's my challenge to you. I want you to give up all dairy and all wheat for two weeks. Two weeks, you can do it. All right, 10 days. If you can't do two weeks, do 10 days. I'd rather you do two weeks though. After 10 days of absolutely no dairy and absolutely no wheat, not even a little bit, because it can trigger the inflammatory reaction, I want you to have some. Maybe have a slice of pizza. See how you feel. Chances are you're going to get sinus headaches, you're going to get congested, and you're going to be miserable. So then you're going to say, well, Dr. Joe, you were right. Maybe I should avoid the dairy and the wheat. And the answer is yes, you should. And I was, uh, again, in a meeting with another doctor, group of doctors. I meet with a lot of doctors. And doctors consult with me a lot. What do you do with this patient? What do you do with that patient? And his one secretary said, um, she says, but what, what kind of bread is a good bread? And I said, unfortunately, there isn't really a good bread. Now, you can do gluten free breads, but there's still sugar. 
Even if they're made with potato starch or tapioca, they still break down into sugar. And that's where my problems are. So it's, I know it's hard to think life without bread. Now, I eat bread every now and then. But if you have a lot of bread, I promise you, you're going to feel bloated and gassy and sinusy, and you're not going to be happy. And now, folks, if you want to make an appointment to come see us, we have offices in uh, Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge. We would love the opportunity to be your doctors. Go to my website, drjoesposito.com. Do it right now so you don't forget because I forget things. I don't know if you're like me. drjoesposito.com. You can book an appointment online. You can call us. We accept people with all insurances, no insurances, car accidents, sports injuries. Once again, I've never seen a car accident ever where the car was damaged where the occupants weren't. Ever. That means if the car was damaged, your head snapped around and it got hurt. So you want to get in as soon as possible because the insurance companies will always say, well, you waited too long. How do we know it was from the accident? Eh, come in as soon as possible. But even if the accident was 50 years ago and you didn't get it fixed, chances are you need to get it fixed. And my doctors would love to work with you. And we do the filing for you. We work with attorneys. We work with the insurance companies. We're very, very well versed in how to deal with car accidents and workers' comp injuries. So you can do that. Go to our website, book the appointment right now. But anything, neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, numbness, tingling, uh, sleep apnea, trouble sleeping, uh, burping, gas, bloating, diarrhea, constipation, we want to work with you. So go to the website right now, book the appointment, drjoesposito.com. Even if we're not in your insurance network, we're in most of them, there may be out-of-network benefits that are actually better to use. So stop suffering needlessly. Take an action step. Get off your fanny. Get off the couch. Stop complaining and come get fixed, drjoesposito.com. So uh, other thing that cause headaches, of course, we're back on headaches again, uh, could be a brain freeze. If you can't stand the cold stimulus headache, it's called, that's the official term for it, simply don't eat things that are ice cold. That pro- pretty much solves the problem. A trick you can do if you are getting a brain freeze, take your thumb and push on the roof of your mouth as hard as you can. And many times that relieves the pain. Just a little trick, but of course, don't do it is going to be the best thing. Stress, whether it's school, whether it's boyfriends, girlfriends, kids, family, that can be associated with headaches. The science behind the headaches usually follows a attention situation, uh, such as the, when you do something that's stressful, the cortisol levels in your body rise. Cortisol is a hormone produced by your adrenal glands, and it's necessary. It's a stress hormone, but it's necessary. If the cortisol is constantly being pumped out of the adrenals and the stress doesn't go away then it becomes a very serious issue. And cortisol can cause you to lay down fat, can cause you to get uh, increase your estrogen levels because fat produces estrogen. Estrogen causes you to become more mellow and less aggressive, less a- active. Uh, cortisol can be real dangerous in, in, in chronic situations. So that's why we want to get the cortisol levels down if we can. And you want to work on getting the adrenal glands healthy so that they know how to respond to stress. Chemical stress. A lot of people are eating bad diets, like most of you. You're eating the alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, artificial sweetener, breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, and pastas. So what do we do about that? Well, stop doing it. If you go to my website, sign up for my newsletter. Uh, It's free. We never give out your information. Don't worry. We don't share it with any political groups. It's just us. And we'll send you a newsletter, but we're also going to send you a link to a lecture that I did called So What Can I Eat? It's free. It's no charge. It's my gift to you for signing up for the newsletter. And again, the newsletter is free. And we'll send you information about uh, hot topics. If I don't, if I don't cover something in a radio show, I might cover it on a newsletter. Um, if we have specials on the supplements, if we're doing lectures, if we're having a party you want to get invited to, uh, it's a great way to stay in touch with us. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. We do send out good information there too. So lots of ways to follow us. The newsletter is the easiest one though. And uh, go there and sign up for it. But in the lecture, So What Can I Eat?, we talk about breakfast, lunches, dinner, snacks, uh, going to parties, uh, dealing with people that don't think like you think when it comes to health. It's all covered on the website, uh, on that lecture. And I do talk a lot about Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. And the reason I say that is I, I don't know anyone who wasn't just thrilled when they started taking it. And people say, I love this stuff. It gives me energy. I feel better. My brain works better. The brain fog's better. My love life's improving. Um, so at least take Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. That's the minimum. And we'll ship it to you. We have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge in the Atlanta area. If you're in the Atlanta area, you can come by and pick it up without having to pay shipping. And again, we just charge you what, what it costs to ship it. But really good stuff. And once people start on it, they usually sign up for the recurring orders because they just love the stuff and they don't want to be without it. Speaking of love life, we have a supplement uh, called nit- nitric oxide support, NO2. 
And nitric oxide opens up your blood vessels. And sometimes that helps with headaches. But most times it helps with your love life because we need good circulation for your romance, men and women. And a lot of times people have clogged arteries. And they have clogged arteries going to their romantic parts and that can prevent blood flow. We also see with patients with Alzheimer's that uh, I don't think I've seen any studies where they didn't show hardening of the arteries, the cranial arteries, the brain arteries in people with Alzheimer's. So now a lot of research is leaning toward Alzheimer's being a circulatory issue. And the the nitric oxide helps open up those blood vessels. You got to change your diet and clean out the arteries too, but that helps. And also enzymes. We have Dr. Joe's enzyme support. Enzymes can get into the blood system and help dissolve, uh, break up clogs as well. But again, all the supplements, we have a bunch of them. I don't have time to cover all of them, are on my website. My books are on the website. The newsletter you can sign up for, it's free on the website, drjoesposito.com. My podcasts, listen to them, download them, uh, watch the videos, follow my Facebook channel, my Facebook page, um, follow my Instagram page and my YouTube channel. You know, if you follow the YouTube channel, you'll know when we send something out and we send them out several times a week, actually, usually two, two a week. So you can catch it there too. Uh, it's all on the website, drjoesposito.com. So back to headaches, a few more minutes left. Uh, we do have exercise-induced headaches. That can be an issue. Many times I find patients that have that have pinched nerves in their neck. And the bones in the neck are out of place causing the headaches, but it can be pinching it a little bit. And then when you exercise, you're trying to get circulation up to the brain and you might be pinching off the basovatibular artery, which is an artery that runs in between your bones and feeds your brain. And that can cause headaches too. And so many times we adjust the spine and get everything lined up. The patients say, gosh, my headaches are so much better, doc. You're amazing. And now I can start to work out again. Sleep, we talked about that. Really, really important. Now, if you have a bad headache, it could be something very serious. Seldom is it, is it, but it could be. So that's why if I have patients with bad headaches and they start to have neurological issues, I'll get an MRI done. And the MRI is very helpful because we can scan the brain and see if there's anything going on in there. And the other thing I like about MRIs is that we can also say what it's not. You know what? We did an MRI. We know it's not a brain tumor. We not, you know, it's not a, you know, invagination of the, uh, of, of the occiput. Um, so there's other things that we can see on the, wet, on the MRI or better yet, not see. I love it when a patient comes back with their MRI report and they say, Dr. Joe, they didn't find anything wrong. Good. Now we know what it's not. And then we can work with that too. So sometimes if the headaches are really bad and I may send a patient out for an MRI after we treat them for a while, we're not seeing results, we may get an MRI. But it's very rare, but we have MRI companies we work with, just like orthopedic surgeons and neurosurgeons and vascular surgeons and pain management doctors and psychiatrists and uh, gynecologists and women's health issues and children's doctors. Well, I have this whole network of doctors that I formed and we all refer back and forth to each other because we all think the same way. We think what's going to be the best treatment for the patient? What's going to be the best thing for them? And it's nice because sometimes it may not be a chiropractic case. We had one, we, we see this often, but just last week we had one that had dissect aortic aneurysm. The aorta was so clogged up with, with plaque that it, was start, it looked like it was starting to split open. I sent them out to their internist. The internist said, wow, your chiropractor found this? I've been treating you for years. I never found it before. Patient had surgery, necessary surgery. And the internist said, get back to your chiropractor and make sure you do everything they say. <clears throat> Excuse me, got excited there. So it's very important that we understand that everybody has their limitations and that we want to work with the patients to get them the best uh, treatment that we possibly can. So there's a lot of things that can be causing headaches. The number one cause, obviously, is, is pinch nerves. Number two is bad diet, glutamic acid, aspartic acid, not getting enough nutrients. That's why it's important you do things like, say it with me, Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. And we all check the digestive system, make sure if you have acid reflux or heartburn, we work on that as well. And so in our offices, we check the nervous system, we check the digestive system, and then we put together a nutrition protocol for all our patients because we want to get you well as fast as possible for the least amount of money. That's our goal. So if you want to make an appointment to come see us, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge in the Atlanta area. If you're outside the area, you can come visit us. You're more than welcome. We have patients come from all over the world. And we'll get you checked out. And if you want to order the supplements, any of the supplements, my books, uh, if you want to listen to the podcast, follow me on YouTube, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, 
drjoeesposito.com or just Google Dr. Joe, number one Dr. Joe in the world, and you can do that. If you want to make an appointment, you can also go to uh, our webpage and do it online or call us. The, the numbers are there. And if you have questions about time or insurance or payments or anything, we'll answer all those questions for you. We're, we're very open. We want to make sure that you get all the information you need to get well and stay well. And it's not just for you. Think about your family. Think about your friends. Think about your coworkers. Because when patients come in here and they start getting well, they get excited and they become annoying. They go to work and say, have you seen Dr. Joe? Do you know what Dr. Joe is? Have you seen his staff? His staff is great. How about Dr. Cat? How about Dr. Irwin? How about Dr. Gale? How about Dr. Dave? They get all excited. So the website, folk, drjoesposito.com or just Google Dr. Joe because we want to help get you well and keep you well. Thanks for listening. Tell your friends about the show. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for listening to For the Health of It. Remember to subscribe to this podcast and I'll help you naturally get well and stay well. You can also listen to and call into my radio show live Sunday evenings from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on WSBRadio.com and on the WSB Radio app.